Well, it's probably it's the black bulk, right? Yeah. Well, that's probably why. <clears throat> I have bumps on my lips that are like little <laughs> tiny. They're little tiny, like pus filled sacks. Don't don't bother contacting Omir because they're not going to reply to you. Mm. Mark gave me a refund on mine. I just complained and he, he PayPal'd me right away. Oh, he does cash refunds now for all black bulk problems. That's cool. <laughs> Mark, that that's is so a negative, thoughtful. So, a negative. So you were talking about how you care so much. Do you care enough with your own wallet? No, I don't care that much. Mm. Not to give out cash refunds. Wow. But you can contact Omir and they may offer you a cash refund. Well, just so everyone could know, any reviewer product out there, if you're having an issue, contact vapenfagan at gmail.com. Thank you, Yes, yeah, all customer service from now on. Point you in the right direction. Yeah. <laughs> you could hire me. You guys need, uh, like, tech support. I could What's be the friend. issue with the black one? Because my black one worked fine. Something with the plating, only certain ones, the plating somehow is fucking with the <clears throat> And I, yeah, it's a huge, like, I don't know type of thing. Alrighty. Yep. There you go, folks. Great show. You. See you next week. I just wanted to get to the bottom of that for the show tonight. So, uh, <clears throat> the agenda, let's look at that. We have no secret squirrel surprises tonight and no shout outs, no coupon codes, no links. All right. Thanks for watching. Same great show, whatever the whatever. Later, guys. Good night, everyone. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. Ignition. We are live, ladies and gentlemen. Live, 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 live. Live. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. This is the Vape Team, the motherfucking great team. Cloudy Entertainment for that ass. It is Thursday night, and right now it is uh, 218. That is the uh, episode we're on this evening. And uh, tonight, even more than the normal special guests, we have an extra extra special guest tonight and he really doesn't need an introduction he's the artist formerly known as suck my mod uh <laughs> but likes to be referred as matt from smm is it smm or sm uh, <laughs> sm is good i like sm <laughs> so anyway we brought the uh we brought some artillery to the show tonight. As you know, this show is titled What the F is Going On? And you'll also say, hmm, hmm, that sounds familiar. Um, mm -hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. A few weeks ago, we had a show entitled What the F is Going On? And on that show, we also had hmm. Mm. So, yeah, welcome Sorry. to the show, Matt. What was the drama we were talking about then? Probably something no. to do with Mark or something. No, I mean, it was another vaping scare, but I forget what that was. There's so There's many now. So many, man. <laughs> yeah, the lung illness, or was it that? I think no. it mm, I don't it know. Was, it was before that. It was probably like eight weeks ago or something like that. Like summertime drama. Yeah. Early summer oh, I drama. I think it's dealing with PMTAs and stuff like that. that yes, was yes. It was the lawsuit. Yes, yes. Yes, it was the lawsuit, and everyone was freaking out, and you came on to set the record straight and share some experience and information with everybody. Yep. Um, we also have a man that really doesn't need an introduction either, uh, the King of Clouds, the Greek god of modern vaping, the matchstick man, Mr. Matchy Matchy, the iron lung, the third lung. What else, Mike? It's a Mikey motherfucking vapes. Mikey motherfucking vapes. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Sid, Greg, chat, Steve. <clears throat> And uh, we have a special guest tonight, Mark. 
I go by the symbol. Thank you. What's the symbol? The Adidas symbol that you're going to be sued for? Yeah. Yes. I'm just a symbol. Yeah. I don't even have a name. So before we get into the meat and potatoes of tonight, because we do have a semi-serious show. I'm sure Mark Mark's going to get extremely uncomfortable and not be able to control himself, which will add to the entertainment factor of the show. Um, but we're going to show what we're vaping on because Matt said he wouldn't come on the show unless he can do some sort of sponsorship shout out thing. I don't no, know. I said, I'm not coming on unless we do a nice 30 minute long buffet because oh. everyone loves those. Here we go. So here's the buffet. It begins with Matt from Sm. Sm. Thank you. Um, Vupu Vinci. That thing's pretty nice. Ooh. The uh, drop RDTA. Have you seen this one, Brian? I've seen everything, and I, you know what? I don't even get impacted anymore, Matt, because I'm just—I feel like people are influenced, and uh, they can go fuck themselves. This oh, is the, oh. the the Pyro V3 RDTA. It doesn't have a drop inside, but yeah, the, the airflow pattern definitely looks looks like it. Um, Magico Pod. And I've been stuck on this fucking disposable. This is like, I got this from E-Leaf at, uh, come on, focus, at ECC. And it's just this flavor. It's like a grapefruit mint. And it's so fucking refreshing. And I, I, I like feel shitty about myself for loving a disposable this much. But like, this is something I would probably buy once it's gone. Um, liquids, where'd they go? In the Magico, I have this Yogurtize Me by a company called Vapecraft. Is that a yogurt? It's a yogurt. It's called Yogurtize Me. It came in my sample box. Dude, there was a time period back when in the early days of vaping that yogurts were like the in thing and everything was fucking yogurt. Yeah. It was big time yogurt for a while. And then you know what kind of replaced yogurt was the uh, the jelly flavors, like mm. jam monster shit like that. But it went like cereals, yogurts. Now before cereals, it was like custards. Yes. And yogurts. Then, then gel it. No. Yeah. Then gel jellies. And then what is it now? I don't even know. Now it's just whatever people can sell to make the most amount of money. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good call. Yep. And then uh, another liquid I've been vaping is Gorilla Custard. It's like a banana custard. Take it away, Mike. Uh, or, or do you like to go last, Mike? Uh, it doesn't matter. Donation from Steven. I was good. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Mike. No, 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 no. Mark, go ahead. Go ahead, Mark. No, go ahead, Mark. I'm not even going until you read the donation. Go ahead, Mark. That's right, Mark. You gotta go. I'm not even. I'm not going until you read it's, the donation. It's, it's your. It's, it's your time to go. I wasn't even going yet, you fucking cocksucker. So that you had four ninety nine to interrupt me was a waste of money. But go ahead. No, it's your time. I'm vaping on the Stephen Garland in four ninety nine specifically just to interrupt Mark. There we go. There we go. Fucking pole smoker. He loves the pole. The uh, smoke whatever. We got the <laughs> geek vape, whatchamacallit. We got the uh, fire cinemabog with the, I think, Stigeli, whatchamacallit. We got the thing. And we got some pods here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We got this one. We got that one. We got the Anakin one, we got this disposable one, and we got a new one that I got today. This one right here, which is comes with, get ready for it, the kids are going to love this, a sticker sheet. Yay! Juices. We got that one. We got this one. We got that one, and we got some of that one. Thank you. Take it away. Uh, Joshua Spade, $2, interrupt. Fuck you! Your Quinn came with a sticker sheet? They all come with sticker sheets in the box. I didn't uh, see a sticker sheet when I had it. Did you review the stickers, Matt? No. What are, What the fuck's on there? All kinds of... Just, looks, there's a lollipop, it looks like. There's... Stickers you could put on your Trapper Keeper, your folder. Anything yeah, to take to school. Bad, bad idea right now. Is that, a middle, is that a middle finger? It looks like it. Maybe a coloring book. You could stick them on there, or... Like, if you don't pee the bed, you could put one of the stickers on the calendar. What does that sign mean? Good job. Like I think west side? West is that, side? Is that like a, a gag sign? I, I think some of these stickers are probably a little... Wow. What is this right here? 
So, Mark, do you, do you support stickers and vape devices, or what's going on here? I uh, I wish they were. Well, we've supported the uh, the the luggy exactly that came with stickers so yeah but that was the okay word if it's like a branding like their logo or something those are those are fairly childish stickers though these are kind of really child. i mean i like stickers though i'll probably use them but they are kind of childish <laughs> mike throws us out of the bus with the luggy dude luggy. That, that was an innovative device there's products just now that are coming out with luggage inspired mods that was the world's first luggage inspired mod that was like 2015. yeah so but those timeless cool. devices that had car branding stickers, didn't it? Yeah, there was yeah. BMW stickers. There was yeah. Rolls Royce stickers. I mean, it was way ahead of its time. But and the kids love Rolls Royce and Beamers, man. And if you're going to release a product, there's nothing that says I'm confident about this release, rather like using you know real trademark name brand products yeah. on the stickers. <laughs> the mod sucks. At least you get a cool sticker sheet. So yeah. So thank you. Amy's updating me on what's happening on the new 90210, so that's good. That's really critical for the show tonight. Take it uh, away, PBC. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Um, what am I vaping on? I, I got this from Inikin. This is the little little pod-style system, the I.O., which is this tiny little guy that you can just hang in your mouth and let it butt out. Um, yeah, I'm also, nice. I'm also vaping on the uh, – yeah, this is nice, Matt, but you need to go high neck. Go yeah. stick. Because the, the draw is tight. It's really tight, so you got to go high neck. Mike was the one that clued me in. What are you guys using in it? Go stick. 18, 18. 18. 19 milligram of mine. Beautiful. I tried it at ECC, but I haven't. Uh, I got it. I got it in the mail, but I haven't tried. I was just gonna put normal twelve in there, but. I tried Nick Salt in it, and I wanted to throw it in the garbage. But after putting the ghost stick in here, you get a nice, strong throat hit off of it. you got to get the throat hit for their device like that to be satisfying. If somebody picks that up and they put, like, three or six in there, yeah, I, they're going to struggle. Because you're not going to vape something like this for the big flavor hit. You know what yep. I mean? But it's pretty satisfying, man. You think this is the smallest pod-style device on the market? Yeah, well, there was like the the finesse Vega that was small, but as a different form factor. There was that other one, the E8, that was pretty tiny as well. I forget what company made that. This feels like something that would be stuck to like your tablet. You know what I mean? Like it would be like a stylus or yeah. something. It's really really small. Anyway, yeah, a, that's my full review. Yeah, to get an accurate measurement, you got to do square footage of it. There you go. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Um, I also vaping on the D salt. I got the desalt from Davpo. I'm enjoying that this evening. I got the MVV2 with the Blotto on top of there. I got some Nilakilla tonight. I'm um, Nilakilla, three milligrams. I'm enjoying that. I also have the UL Soul Keeper with the Recurve Dual. There we go. I've paired it up tonight. And, um, hold on. There we go. Thanks for laughing, Mike. You're welcome. When was the last time you vaped that thing? And I'm also vaping on this little guy. Look at that. Oh, my God. Yeah. If you have this beautiful device, which is the billet box, <laughs> and if you're going to travel, why not get a cup holder that allows you to hold your mod and... Does your liquid fit in there? No. <laughs> <laughs> why does your... Li <laughs> what is this little hole for? For a smaller liquid bottle? What is it? It's for uh, a small bottle, I guess. Huh? Extra battery, maybe? Hold on, I'm going to take some time out of the show. Take Little... your finger in there. It's for the... No. For is a it... bottle of ghost stick. Is it for a spare battery, maybe? Ah, yeah. that's what it's for. Spare fucking battery. Galisi. Thank you. Uh, what else am I vaping? just fucked it all up, Brian. Good job. I didn't fuck anything up. I was leading everyone in the direction of where I was headed. So, yes, yeah, stand-up 3D. Mike, it's buffet time. All right. I'm vaping on uh, the Drop RDTA. Yes. Donk mode inside the, uh, what's it called? The diatals? Diatic. Vaping on that. We got Taffy Splash in there. I'm also vaping on, where are you? There you are. The Geek Vape Squonker. I don't even know what the name of this is. Aegis, I guess, Squonk? Aegis Squonk. Yep, and I got the, the original Recurve on top of that one. It's been a long time. Inside that, we got some 
that new thing. Uh, what else are you vaping on, Mike? There we go. The V Stick VS VMA, I think it's called. I'm not sure. Auto Squonker with the rebuildable on top. Vaping on that. I have, uh, I can't remember what liquid's in here. I think it's an apple liquid. This stuff here, chubby apple. And that, I think that's it. Oh, I'm also vaping on the RPM 40 Inikin uh, IO. Vaporesso Cortex or something like that it's called. I think it's Corex, Corex, a pod system. And the caliber. That's it. That's right. Thank you. Thank you very much. ST's in chat. He'd like to give a, uh, a personal shout out to Sense for all the hospitality they showed last week in the DCC. And he'd like everybody in chat to look forward to the brand new Pro Stick. Thank you, ST. Thank you. Who here is excited for the Pro Stick? Hands up. The what? Mark is not oh, excited. Anything. Oh, yeah, the Anakin Pro Stick. The pro stick? What the hell is that? Isn't it, what? You don't know what that is? No, what the fuck's a pro stick? I have no clue. It's not called a pro stick. What are you guys? A pro time, man. We're talking about I'm we're actually talking about, we're talking about Scott's pro stick with sense. Oh that thing. Did Oh. Well, yeah. That's the name of a pro stick? <laughs> Fuck. It is called the Proton. Proton for some reason from Minikin. Proton Mini. I was thinking of the odor when he said Pro Stick. I was thinking Prolapse. <laughs> I don't know. Pod. Sorry, Scott. I got your back, buddy. Yeah. I hope it comes in a sticker sheet. Because if not, I'm not reviewing it. Thank Every, you. Everything comes with sticker sheets going forward. I think. Did I say sicker sheets? Sicker. I, sticker. I think I said sicker sheets. Anyway, to get to the real meat and potatoes of the show. It's been, un I don't think since vaping has begun, since I started following vaping, I'm not going to say since the beginning, but I don't think I've ever seen such a uh, heavy onslaught of negative press on the mainstream media as I have in the past month. I think it's been relentless. It's been on every news channel. It's been on every blog. Uh, there's, there have been news stories on online websites. It's just been constant. The evening news every night, there's a story on it. And recently... We have this whole ordeal this week. The drama of the week is Michigan. Matt, what's your what's your feeling on what's happening in Michigan? Or why don't you introduce to people that are in, in chat what's happening in Michigan in case they don't know? Um, well, Michigan banned flavors, banned, banned flavored e-liquid, even mint, even mint and, and menthol. The only <laughs> thing uh, that uh, will be legal is, is tobacco, straight tobacco flavor. Isn't tobacco a flavor? Yep. Yeah, that's I, uh, sorry. Any other flavors, any other defining flavors except for the tobacco flavor. Hmm. And that was uh, from the moment they announced this, that was in, in effect. No, what? Well, what happened? This wasn't Michigan's legislature that did it. It was it was a collaboration between their governor and their health department or health and human services. Some I think it's called something like that. And basically, that health department claims they, they, they declared an, an emergency because of the teen epidemic, the teen vaping epidemic. And they also use the excuse of these lung issues, even though obviously more and more info is coming out that that's not nicotine vaping at all. And uh, they because they were they claimed that emergency, they were then able to ban these flavors and go around Congress in, in the state. So it's supposed to, they're supposed to finalize the, finalize it within the next couple of weeks, I believe. And then at that two week point, shops and everyone else that sells stuff there uh, has 30 days to basically liquidate all their, their flavored product. Uh, what there are, you... are people looking at lawsuits and stuff like that right now, whether or not that pans out, I don't know. So it's within their authority to enforce something like this. Well, that's what the lawsuits are looking at. There, there is some precedent there where, like, I believe something happened in the 60s during, like, the time – had something to do with the auto industry where they gave more authority to the executive branch in Michigan than most states have. Like, for example, New York looked at doing something kind of similar, but then they backed off because they, they figured out they didn't have the legal authority. Hmm. 
in Michigan, apparently they have kind of wider sweeping power. The executive branch does there to pull shit like this. I'm mm-hmm. surprised. I'm surprised though, with all the deaths from cigarettes, that they allow that. Well, master settlement agreement. Once, Just, once that so, kicked in, there's no cigarettes ever getting banned. So, Matt, I have a question. Master settlement agreement. Is that so final and so powerful that that can never be overridden by an emergency declaration? I mean, never say never, but at this point, yeah, it kind of, the, I, I don't know exactly how it was written, but the master settlement agreement kind of made a deal with Big Tobacco where like, hey, you guys can leave your products on the market, but you're going to pay us, you're going to pay each state a big ass chunk of money. I mean, that just that's just like, there's a lot more to it than that, but that's kind of the overarching theme of, of the master settlement. <clears throat> so I, I don't even know if states... You know, like a legislature could come in and ban cigarettes because it would take so much tax tax revenue away from the state that, you know, it's just not going to happen. It's there, there, and that's what's crazy is is I'm I'm pretty sure they haven't banned menthol cigarettes in Michigan, but they even banned menthol and mint liquids. So, is it is it against the law to sell it? Because someone in uh, chat said if you're caught traveling with four or more bottles of liquid, it's a misdemeanor. So, can you have it? You're considered if if okay, obviously, like that's when is that going to happen? It's not like they're going to have cops like freaking frisking people looking for e-liquid. But they do say that if you have more than four flavors of liquid, you could be considered a uh, a distributor or or retailer (laughs) at that point. And they could give you a fine, you know, or or misdemeanor, you know, up to six months in prison. But they're not going to do that. They would give someone. A two hundred dollar fine. We have two donations. We have Lord of Mac two dollars. He said, "Get Rip Trippers and Jay Hayes on the show," and we also have another donation that was from John. John Trincali said, four ninety nine. What I don't understand: why don't they enforce the laws that are already in the books? Hell, double to fine if they have to. I think he meant the fine. That's a question you can ask them. I mean. I mean, do you, Matt, let uh, me ask you this. Do you think that this was a knee jerk reaction because they saw an opening because of this this huge recent outbreak and all of these lung pulmonary lung function issues that people have been having that this was sort of their action? Do you think they would have taken this action if that wouldn't have been the catalyst to start? Well, I, I think the, the governor wanted something like this for a while. But if I don't know if you guys remember, but Michigan, well, Michigan's House and their Senate is has a Republican majority right now. And they did pass, from what I remember, vaping legislation a couple of months ago, but it was actually fairly favorable to vaping. They had classified it as a separate thing outside of tobacco. They had like their own vapor classification. And and I think she was pushing for more at the time. And so this was definitely like, okay, I wanted stricter regulations anyway. I'm just gonna go for it because I have this excuse of obviously teen vaping, and then lung issues and stuff like that. So it just was kind of like the right time for her to, you know, her and her, the executive branch to kind of swoop in and, and pull some shit. Now, like like I said, there's definitely like, I know VTA is looking at it for for uh, lawsuits. There's some uh, there's some other groups that, that are that are looking at it for, to, you know, if, to see if there's any potential lawsuits. So we could see something like that happen. And it does only last for six months, and then they can renew it for another six months. But at that point, they want to have actual legit legislation in place. So it's not permanent right now. But the only thing is, is like even a lot of the Republican lawmakers, like the I think it's the major, Senate Majority Leader, who's a Republican, even said that he agreed with it now. So it's like because vaping is so toxic in yeah. public opinion right now, even Republicans who Are normally – who normally have been fairly friendly to vaping in the past don't want to stand up for it right now. Yeah. Does it go into effect immediately? Like, what about the shops that have all the stock of? No, they have. Liquid? Once it's finalized, which is supposed to be in the next couple of weeks, they then have 30 days to liquidate shit. But what's crazy is, is this even, from the way I read it, this even hurts companies that are based in Michigan that are selling products to other states. So, for example, my V Pro is in Michigan, right? I'm pretty sure they are. Yep. And like, t- I'm from the way I'm reading that the the law, they cannot sell flavored liquid even to people in other states. So they might have to move their <laughs> facility to where they're shipping from. 
And I'm assuming you can't order online to have it shipped to Michigan? Well, th that's, you're not, no, you can't, but will, will some companies still ship into Michigan? Probably, because really like the, the, Mich the state of Michigan, I don't, like for example, if I'm a company in Montana and I and I and I'm a re, I, I'm an online retailer, and I ship to somebody in Michigan, even though technically it's illegal for them to be buying in Michigan, can Michigan do anything to me in Montana? I don't believe they can. They could do something to the person that bought it, maybe. I don't. Well, maybe not because they're not they're not they're not a retailer that's going to turn around and sell it. But I mean, just like we've seen this in other States before, there's probably going to be some online retailers that are still going to sell to people in Michigan, and but shipped. some, some of the bigger ones that don't want any heat coming back at them, they, they might. Uh, well, I think once they find out what the fines are, then they'll decide if it's worthwhile or not. And they look at how much they sell in the state. Well, what there's about no, there's they can't really but you have to remember it's a state law. They can't really fine a California company for shipping product to Michigan. I can don't the believe federal, that can the federal government get involved? Not when it's a, not a federal law. Hmm. Interesting. So enforcement's going to be, be a real tricky thing. Would it be worth it for shops to sell like flavor shots and un, you know unflavored e liquid, and then you add the flavor shot yourself and kind well, of shit it up, kind of like a nicotine thing? How they do? That's another thing mm -hmm. that people are consider. Like they do mention in the law like non nicotine liquid as well, but you might be able to get away with doing something like the. Uh, the liquid art or whatever the hell that I, I posted a link to it the other day where it's a flavor shot with nicotine separately. They might be able to get away with some, doing something like that. So Johnny drips $4.99. He said, does this mean that kitty pools are shut down? No. So there we go. If know. anything, businesses like that will probably be more in business because they're shady as it is and they do shit under the table. So what's the kitty pools? Uh, the famous Adore you liquid. Oh, some of the finest liquid in Michigan. Wow. I mean, I, there's the thing is, is like it's a really stupid. Obviously, we found out that this black market stuff does, isn't dealing with nicotine, but, but regardless, it's really stupid to go and create more black markets right so, now when that's what people are getting sick from in the first place. Matt, how how powerful is the pro alcohol lobby? Because, uh, I mean, I you know, think, I think that they get like 30 plus million a year. So they're pretty powerful because I guarantee if we were to sit and look at statistics of underage alcohol related deaths and, and accidents and harm, it would be staggering when you compare it next to vaping issues yeah. and harm. And yet there's flavored alcohol beverages all over the place and th they never stop that. Yeah, but a lot of this is like normalization, right? Like yeah. acceptance. It's yes. acceptance. We've society has accepted that alcohol is harmful. Of people, thousands of people are going to die from alcohol every year, and we just have accepted it, right? Every when there's something new that comes up, you know, it's obviously powers that be kind of play a part in this too to try to scare people even more. But it's like your people haven't accepted that yet, so. You know, a lot people always use the flavored alcohol argument, yeah. and I get it, but it's it's been used since I've been vaping. And, and it hasn't made an impact whatsoever. It's, it's pointless. People yeah. use that argument on Twitter every day to comment on politicians and uh, health officials' uh, posts, and it gets us nowhere. So, so like, what, 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 is, yeah, what is a good argument then? If that's not a good argument, what is a good argument? Um, but like if you're arguing with someone that's a Democrat, like the Michigan governor, then it's a very good argument is to point her towards what the UK is doing with their research and the fact the UK has socialized medicine and a fairly left leaning um, political system. Um, and they're pro vaping, you know, so you got to use different arguments. Obviously, well, you know, when you're talking to like a Republican or like a libertarian minded individual, then you talk more about personal freedoms and uh um you know my my body my choice type of stuff but like with some of the democrats it's like a lot of times it's better to talk about some of the science and uh what some of the other uh countries are are doing with it if we're going to place uh, also a blame game on this you have to blame the media this is all the media's fault because the oh, media sure. has demonized has made vaping into the devil by not doing their research on shit that's going on. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of them they, they, they simplify on purpose because it makes for sexy headlines. Exactly. But these politicians who have no clue about jack shit see this stuff. Yeah. They have to respond to it. If they 
if they don't respond to it, it'd be like, oh, there's nothing wrong with vaping, whatever. The media is always right. We know that politicians are liars. The media always tells the truth, just like everything on Facebook is true. You know, so it's fucked up. It's it's a no winning situation right now with this. So no for way. those that live in Michigan, like what can they do? And what can they also do about buying liquid? Like what are the two things they can you could recommend people do? If the law goes through as planned and there's no type of like, you know, pause or, or stay to it because of a lawsuit. Um, well, if you live close to a border, you could go buy your liquid across the border from, from somewhere. You could obviously stockpile liquid if, if that's what you're going for. You could buy uh, DIY stuff, but you could also kind of, I mean, if not, if you not, if maybe you don't have the money to do that, I'm pretty sure like if you're a savvy vapor, you'll find a way to get some company to ship you liquid. Now, who it obviously hurts is uh, the smokers who, you know, where their their only option is going to be tobacco. And a lot of the vape shops are going to end up shutting down. So they won't have vape shops to go to. They're basically going to be stuck like with like a tobacco flavored jewel from a convenience store. And how many tobacco flavored products have you really truly enjoyed on your journey? Not, yeah, not many. Because they don't have the set, you know, they, they don't follow people on social media. They don't, they're not in the know to know where they can get these products and stuff. And so they'll, you know, it'll probably deter some smokers from switching as well. Yeah. Uh, Matt, explain, because a lot of people are saying, was it passed as a law? How was it passed? Explain to them how this happened in Michigan. It's basically like, okay. For example, if you've been following the news, Trump has has declared a few, you know, national emergencies, right? And then he like has this decree where he basically sets some new new rule in place. It's not necessarily a law because usually they don't, you know, it's not like a forever law. It's like a new rule that they put into place. So Obama did the same shit. So it's kind of like they declared a public health emergency, and they made this new rule because of the emergency. And the rule lasts six months, but then they can renew it for another six months. But then they're hoping that they're going to get legislation and have their their uh, um, their legislators pass some type of law that'll ban flavors completely. But it might be harder than they think. Uh. <laughs> it would be interesting to find out how much tax, just regular sales tax, the the state earns from vapor outlets that sell flavored vape products you know what i mean yeah, how much i think they had a vape tax in michigan too if i'm not mistaken i don't know for sure but i think they had they had one and how much this will impact it i mean it won't touch how much they make from msa payments but i do want to say though like because the, obviously there is a fear that like okay one state did it now will this be a pattern where That's other, what I wanted you to yeah, explain. Yeah, yeah. other states are doing it but there is i don't know completely about every state's rules what I have heard and read is, is that the Michigan executive branch, which is the governor and the people that work for the governor, has more power to do stuff like this than some other governors in other states. So like New York, I think they're one of the health departments in New York considered doing it. But, they, you know, they were I think they're considered part of that executive branch. They realized that they didn't have the the, the power to be able to do it. So not all states would necessarily even be able to do this legally but it looks like michigan has more wide sweeping power to to claim some of these emergencies and, and put rules like this in place uh johnny drips 499 he said jewel is throwing victory parties daily funny how they are publicly in support of the new laws against the pmta lawsuit they're winning at monopoly kind of kind of it's the the jewel situation is way more nuanced and they're playing chess it's not it's not exactly even what people think, but like, does it really bother Jewel that much to get flavors banned in Michigan? Yeah, I, I'm sure they wish that mint they could at least sell their mint. Um, but Jewel's like Jewel's comment that they made about this. They talked about kid. Fr they purposefully word things to trick people where they talk about how they wish they they support a ban on kid friendly flavors like cotton candy and stuff like that. Because then if you call them on it, which I have before, they'll say, we're not saying we want to ban all flavors. We just think some they, – they try to play both sides to try to make it look like they're super responsible to the legislators and stuff. But, yeah, it's, it doesn't hurt Jewel that much. 
we'll just be honest. It, it hurts the small vape shops and people that are based in, in Michigan. Now, uh, let's say, uh, I mean, it's been coming out in the news that these issues with the uh, these uh, kids getting hospitalized was from THC. So how could they? I don't. I don't get it. Unless well, they, unless they finding out now, can they overturn it? Let's say, and say, you know what? It's been found out that this is not from uh, vape nicotine products. It's from THC. No, because that wasn't even like the number one. Re- they they use that as one of their reasons, but in Michigan, but uh, that wasn't even like their main reason. Their main reason was like the teen epidemic and some of the statistics that they had on on teen use. Oh, okay, okay. And, and there it was wasn't, just to be clear too, so people know, it's like it wasn't the T- THC that was giving people lung issues. It was a a product that was being mixed with the THC in some of these black market right. cartomizers. Uh, you know, they're saying vitamin E, what was it, acetate? Yeah, vitamin E acetate. <clears throat> I, I just don't get it. Which there's a lot of discussions about that right now. If you guys follow <clears throat> the different advocates on Twitter, like, and even like Dr. Farsalinos, like he's made some comments, but they're still looking into it. And I don't want people to jump the gun and just say vitamin E as if it's just vitamin E that's causing the problem. Uh, it's deeper than that. So th- there's going to be a lot more information as time goes on. It might not just be vi- vitamin E, but the, I think the big issue though is, is that there's oils and fats basically that are being inhaled that, you know, it's like you're almost inhaling like a grease or something. Yep. And so yes. it's, you know, like for example, I think VG vegetable glycerin starts out as an oil, but then they strip the oil properties away from it before, before it's sold and then mixed into into oil. Yeah, it's food. different. That's why if you go like to uh, when you do DIY, they have two different oils yeah. to buy. One is for vaping, and one is for food. Yeah, yeah, because the yeah the, the food one in the vaping that's yeah because then you have like actual oil and. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the biggest issue here is, is black market. Like, you know, it's not THC cardos that are being made by reputable manufacturers and sold in a dispensary in a legal state. It's black market shit. So that's why it's so fucking stupid that their governor is doing this now because she's just going to start a, the, an increase in the black market. Yeah. A nicotine vaping black market in Michigan where they're not going to have oversight and people are going to be making bathtub juice and, and selling it to their friends and shit. Yep. No doubt about that. All right. So the next topic, what's the agenda, Brian? Go ahead, Mark. What's on your face? Uh, this is this is the new symbol for the vape team, actually. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, there you go. Right oh, there. I like it. It's West Side. Oh, cool. that is the actual two fingers in the middle. West Side? Yeah, back in the 90s, remember, like, that was, like, one of the, the symbols, like, when when you had like the eat the West Side versus uh, West Coast versus East Coast rap yep. wars back then. Yep. Matt, one of the frustrating things about this whole fight is that you, you, there's a part of you that feels like if you just give the proper information to the right people, then all of a sudden the eyes will be open and then people will stand up. But deep down, we all know that this is a strategic, purposeful agenda that where logic, reason, and science is not going to win the fight at this stage in the game. And I don't know, is that disheartening and frustrating for you and for? Yeah, but I think it's even more complicated than that. Like there's definitely powers that be pharma definitely is probably the biggest one that want to hurt vaping as much as they possibly can. And then there's definitely some politicians that pharma influences, but like, for example, your normal state politician. So like you're in, you're, you know, say in New Jersey and you go talk to a democratic politician, he's probably not making it, getting any money from pharma. He's just listening to the news and listening to all the fear mongering. And then he wants to help the kids too. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like everyone in government is on the take here. And it's like, they're all just like this big conspiracy to fuck with vaping. It's just shit spreads like wildfire. And then, you know, when you have, they have parents coming to them and there's also people that are stuck in the middle, like like the Surgeon General even said yesterday, like, you know, the Michigan governor was saying that he he and the FDA weren't doing enough. So he feels like, you know, they feel like they're stuck in the middle of us saying, Hey, you guys are fucking us, you're do you're 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 
you're not putting out proper info and you're just scaring people. But then on the other side of it, he's getting other people saying, hey, I can't believe you guys haven't banned flavors yet federally. I can't believe you're not doing this, this, that, and that. And so, you know, for some politicians or just people that work in government or, you know, for health organizations or whatever, they're kind of like stuck between a rock and a hard place as well. Now, do you think that because of everything that's going on, do you think that it's going to happen to where the federal government is going to ban flavors because of all of this stuff that's being spewed out by the media and with what happened in uh, Michigan? Um, See that happening? I don't, I don't think the FDA is going to do that. I mean, they have some restrictions already, like, you know, that they're trying to, like the, uh, uh, you know, they're trying to finalize the guidance for, you know, no flavored products in gas stations and all ages establishments and stuff like that. Um, now, if all of a sudden Congress, uh, you know, if, if shit just kept getting worse and worse and worse, like in the media, could Congress pass a bill to, to ban flavors? Sure. Or if the Democrats win the House and the Senate in the next election and and there's a Democratic uh, president, um, could they could they potentially ban flavors? It's possible as well. So what are your thoughts on Mark's picture right now, Matt? <laughs> I think that anytime you guys talk of anything of substance, Mark just needs to find attention somehow. I think deep down he has so much heart and passion for vaping that he just can't contain himself. It just bought, so he's got to like change the subject because he doesn't want to start crying or weeping. I don't think he's ready to say vaping yet. Have you had sex with that thing? Not yet, no. Well, that's what everybody in chat was waiting for earlier in the show. Uh, <clears throat> we want to know if your illness over the weekend impacted the date night that you had planned with your toy. Uh, yes, it did impact it, and I have not used it yet. So nothing to report of. Sorry to sidetrack the conversation there. All righty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this dude's obsessed with uh, Rip Trippers and Jay Hayes. Yeah. Lord of Mac. Thank Thanks you. For Thanks for the $2, Lord of Mac. I'm sorry we're boring you, Lord of Mac. Yep. Second time. Um, anything agenda? else we missed on this? We do have an agenda tonight. Yeah, I think we pretty much covered everything. It doesn't look good, folks. As of today. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good for Michigan. No. Uh, derail successful, Mark. Congratulations. Once again, you've proven exactly why you are the special guest, and we appreciate you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, please follow Amy Relish on the gram, Amy underscore Relish on Instagram, because she wants you to. And uh, we also have hit that juice for all your vaping needs. You can use code Relish10. Do not use Mark's code, or it will not get shipped at all. Did you I've, say hit the juice? Hit that juice. Oh, it's not like you said hit the juice. No, right? hit, hit that juice. And for some reason, I, I don't know, Mark, your code does not work because things don't get shipped when people use it. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's what that's what AB said. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> also, you guys can see this Billet Buddy BB1 and BB2. We showed this earlier on the show. If you head over, it's called the Billet Buddy. How cool is that? Billet, Billet Buddy. Buddy. You can carry it in your car. It's fucking cool. StandUp3D.com. And there's also a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh Coupon code Vape and Fagan. He said uh, twenty-one to twenty-six dollars. That's the cost for something like that. So if you want to, you know, stand up your devices in your car and keep them safe, you can do that. Uh, also, you can also submit pictures for Fan of the Week. So uh, we got a Fan of the Week picture this week. Oh yes, I can't wait for this Here one. Here we go. There's the picture. Wow, that's a pretty. And the fan of the week was Nobody Vapes, screen name Nobody Vapes. So there, there, you, there you go. That was the fan of the week this week that we got. So thank you for watching Nobody Vapes. How about that other picture? What other picture? Yeah, can we just talk about that one? What picture? I don't know. Some picture. There was an ashtray or something? What? Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. I don't know. Folks, uh, if you're going to do, uh, do a selfie of your mods or whatever, try not to have an ashtray in the background. Also, if you guys want up-to-date information on everything that's going on in the world of vaping and also advocacy, you can follow SMM on Twitter, Suck My Mod on Twitter. And uh, it's really informative, passionate, and there's always something to, to follow. So check out Matt on Twitter. Thank you. 
Uh, also, you can also please, everybody, send Mark an email and remind him to get his passport for the UK. Vapenfagan at gmail.com and remind him that he has to get his passport for the UK. That ain't happening. I'm halfway there, folks. Uh, see, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go to the UK this time, but I really want to fucking go just to see Mark in a different country. How funny would that be seeing Mark in London? Dude. Oh. He'll definitely embarrass the shit out of you. Mark will be fun. walking around saying, good night, mate. Good night, mate. I'm going yeah. there to represent the states. Yeah, you're you're actually a pretty accurate representation. So yeah. thank you, thank you for Perfect. that, Mark. You got to take him to like London and like some museums and shit. Oh, museums. Yeah, yeah. take him to some nice old museums. I was thinking more like whorehouses. They got any whorehouses down there? I think I think prostitution's legal there. Yes. There you go. I'm sure Angela would love that, Mark. She would actually be very grateful of that takes a lot of her yeah she'd be like at least i don't have to touch it yep oh. no doubt about that uh we also hey. got some birthdays this week how about a birthday to jaybo happy, happy birthday jaybo birthday jaybo i saw him at ecc he lost a little weight i know nice. he's been taking care of himself uh he kind of was mia for a little bit and uh now he comes back and he's all fit healthy looking speaking of which can i tell a story really quickly sure I'm sorry to real yeah I have gained a few pounds since uh, the spring. Yep. And I, wa- I remember at the UK, I was at the uh, Hellvate booth. And you know, not Jean, but the, the person that works with her at the booths. I forget her name. I go up to their booth again at ECC, and she comes up to me and she goes, you got fat, man. You need to do something about it. Ooh. Wow. And ever since, dude, I've been, I'm thankful, though, ever since... You've been starving weekend, yourself ever since? I've been starving myself. Sometimes you need those like brutally honest comments from people yep. to motivate you. I love yeah. that shit. Like I've only gained like 10 pounds, but she obviously it's obviously showing. Well, so. you you knew it. And I now knew the, it. and she made it public, so it just gave you that little extra motivation. That's why I think the people that hate on you and the people that troll you, it just gives fuel into that little engine Sometimes that you it got. Does. Yep. Like every time people make fun of my mouth, I do mouth stretches. Yes, me too. And, and you know what? Matt contacts me and he says, come over. I need to do mouth stretches. And the biggest thing that I got, he puts in his mouth. Yeah. So there you go. And that's why his mouth is still small. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Uh, Sebastian okay. Box. Sebastian Box. Happy birthday to you, Sebastian Box. Is that a play of words? Uh, Sebastian Bach? Sebastian Box. I don't know, but is that a pod? What pod was that, Mark? It's a mouth stretcher, actually. Oh, is it? I, mean, I want to see Matt try and do that with a pot. Oh, the Quinn? My mouth actually stretches. More than mine. We actually had a stretch off. What was that show we were on, The Amigos? And you and I did a stretching competition, didn't we, Matt? I don't have a Quinn on here. Yeah. Like, here's a... I could get a, a Geek Vape... Uh, what are these called again? Frenzy. Frenzy. Oh. It is pretty wide. Wow. Mm-hmm. It you just don't have, you don't, it's, it's a it's a grower, not a shower. Yeah, he's yeah, but, got a very elastic mouth. He has <laughs> a he has a shallow throat, though. I can guarantee that he doesn't yeah, have the bot, depth. Bottoms out. When I eat carrots, they bottom out yep. after a couple inches. Yep. All right. Uh, we also have a little special time on the show where we, we like to give away the secret stuff in secret. That's <laughs> for some reason on the agenda. It's called secret stuff in secret. So uh, there you go tonight. Uh, we're going to be doing some stuff from Inakin. So we have five people that are going to win. And what are we doing tonight? Why don't you guys show it off? We're going to show off the Adept and the GoMax. So I think the Adept, it's the Adept kit, if I'm not mistaken. So there's the Adept, and we're going to be given the GoMax. So there you go. we got the GoMax and the Adept. We're doing five. Mark, bring up the random comment picker. Is it Inakin or Anokin? It's Inakin. You're sure of this, I right? find Inokin sounds like Street Fighter, like Inokin. George, George says Inokin. Yeah, George says Inokin, so we're gonna go with Inokin. Inokin. All right, what number are we using? We're smock. using two hundred. It's smock, isn't it? Smoke. It's smoke. smock. It's smock, mock. Smock, mock. What the fuck, mock? Smoke a smock. Fuck? All right. Smock. What number am I? Choosing two eighteen to see. Thank you for the Anokin. Two eighteen is going. Oh shit! It only goes to two hundred for some reason. Let me try again. Hold on. Let me redraw names. Gotta have more than that in chat. I would assume. 
You never know. Matt's on. That is true. Good Woo. job, man. Brian said that, not me. I love Matt. All right, 218. Let's try it again. Here we go. All right. We don't have it. We got we got a 219. Do we have 218? We got a, we got a 217. I said 218. We got Matt, why don't you pick a number? We got a winner. 218. Kyle C. 218. C Y L E C. Kyle C, congratulations. Uh, uh. We're just doing Are we water. Doing five of those? Oh, you five got four of more, Mark. Come on. Oh, God. Pick He's another number. Long, long night. While he's picking a number, let's say that if you win the secret stuff, whatever the Wait, hell it's called. G-Mat. It? G -A -G -M -A -T -T. <clears throat> G-A-G-M-A-T-T. All right, G-Mat. Congratulations. You need to contact Amy Relish, COO, at gmail.com. And choose your color. Very you, important. You, you don't choose your color, but you need to give your name, your address, your telephone number, and a copy of your picture ID to show that you're of legal vaping age in that, that email. that goes for all the winners. And that goes for all the winners. This is for the Adept kit? This is for the Adept and the Gomax. The Adept is a fucking solid kit. It's man. a I solid kit. I brought that kit. to California with me yep. this summer. Great battery life, great flavor. It's good. Mark, don't you have three more? I'm trying to. Number three is T Bisco. T dash B I S C O. Congratulations. Number four is going to be. We got a 219. 218. Here we go. Uh, Blackheim Catatonia? We, he's won before, I think. Has he? I've think never so. seen that name yeah, in my life. Black Hive so. Tatonia, I think. Number Congratulations. Four. Number five is... Burp, 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 burp. You got a 219. Does that count? 218. Here we go. Winner is... Holy shit. Ronald... Dutch Dutch Atelier? Dutch Atelier. D U C H A T E L I E R. Dutch Atelier. Ronald Dutch Atelier. Congratulations. There we go. There so, all go. the winners, make sure to email Amy Rullis, C O O at gmail.com. Subject line, put down Indican Surprise. Name, address, phone number, email address, and a picture ID. Congrats. And if Amy does not respond within 24 hours, please post on the Vape Team Facebook group. Or it email vapeandfagan at gmail.com. Thank you. Thank you. Are we doing an Element Vape Surprise Package squirrel thingy? <laughs> Brian? Yes, we are. <laughs> uh, we have a secret squirrel from Element Vape. For all your vaping needs, Element Vape. And we have a secret squirrel. Elephant vape. Here I'll we go. I'll let Matt pick a number. Pick a number, Matt. 47. 47. 47. Oh. And this one is only for the U.S. Yep. U.S. residents only. U.S. only. Uh, dun, dun, dun. We got a 46. We've got... Nope. 48. Oh, my goodness. Why is this? Here we go. Oh my god. This name I don't know if this name is real. I've heard it before. I want to be careful the way I say it. I want to pronounce it very clearly. Black Nika. Black Nika. B L E C N I K K A. I don't believe that's a real name, but congratulations. Black oh, Nika. <laughs> I mean, you could have spelled it. Just call it like I see it, folks. Congratulations to the Black Nika. The Black Nika. Sorry. Mark, Matt, comment. <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> Matt's ready to sink into his chair. Is that, that a works. real name? Is that a real name? Well, it's their name, and they won. Congratulations, Black. No, Mark, that, not enough. We've had enough. Thanks. Yeah, we, don't wanna, we don't want to mute you. Thanks. Is that person in Thanks. Chat? Yeah. Let's see. The U.S. resident? 
U.S. resident. Uh, people are saying it's real. Just so you guys know, I wasn't laughing at the name itself. It was the way Mark built up to it and then the way he tried to pronounce it. Piff to Willow. So I assume it's not a real person. We'll do it again. Here we go. 47 is... I love when trolls win because they win and they can't give out their info. Ryan yep, Jackson. Exactly. Congratulations, Ryan Jackson. You are not a troll and you are the winner. Congratulations. Congratulations, Ryan Jackson. Yep. Email Amy Relish, C O O at gmail.com. Subject line put down element squirrel surprise package. Name, number, name, address, phone number, email address, photo ID. Congrats. Sorry, guys. You do not get to choose who you pivot to. That's not how it works. Nope. If you want to pivot it to the person, you can receive it and then ship it to that person if you'd like, but. They don't it want to out who they are. Yep, that's what happens. Yep. Yeah. People have a troll account and they don't want you knowing their, their real name. Yippers. The part, their picture was Mark. Really? Uh, Mark with the afro. Mark, yeah. what's up with that? I have no affiliation with that name whatsoever. Thank you. All yes, right. include your social security number also in this email. And if you could attach a photo of a major credit card, that'd be great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, well, I think everybody in chat and also everybody on the panel thanks you, Matt, for coming on the show tonight and uh, clearing the air and talking, giving us all of your informative information and knowledge and in sharing your experience and your opinions about different things you're a huge help to the community man well thanks for having me i appreciate you guys as well we always love it and uh when when things come up there's no better person i think to have on any panel to talk about these types of things because you take it seriously and you spend the time to educate yourself and to, to put yourself around the, the right people to, to help show you the answers that would help everyone so i can stop I try. I mean, I'm not up there with Mark, but yeah. It takes a while to get like me, but who is? Right? You'll get, you'll get there. I mean, the bar is really high with him. <laughs> <laughs> I do kind of want that flashlight, though. He'll let you borrow it. Once I'm done using it, I'll be happy to ship it to you. We should pass it around this whole group. We should. You know? I don't want nothing to do with Ask, it. Ask him, <laughs> my brothers. I, when they're used, I don't go in, I just eat it. So. Oh wow. Yeah. Just that, was, that was even dirty for you, dude. Sorry. <laughs> um, Mark, anything else? Um, I noticed while looking at this the other day. Yes. I'm not really that big to fit in there. I can go through the back. You're gonna end up tearing oh, yourself reach. on the threads. Yeah, yeah you probably. can't reach in there. It's that is hard. That's pretty. You're, deep. you're, you're right. <laughs> Story of Mark's life. He's one of the guys where. He never gets past the buns. Don't mind if he comes in the back. Yep. He never gets past the buns. Front or back. As long as it's a hole, I'm hitting it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, shit. What? Oh, no, I just saw something in chat. I can repeat it. No. Nope. Nope. Well, that person that won that said the pivot to somebody, yeah. that that's the actual person. Oh, oh really? That's the name. Hmm. Beautiful. Interesting. I think that's your cue, Brian. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we'll be back next Thursday night, same vape time, same vape channel. The Vape Team, we appreciate you watching us. We appreciate everybody that uh, participates in chat. And uh, once again, thank you, Sm, for Bruce. being on the show. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Sm. Sm. 20 minute intro begins now. Oh, we're doing an intro? Outro. Is it a warm-up show? Yes. Ignition. Outmission. Smooth. Smooth. What do you mean I'm full of shit? I was just reading chat, Willow. Smooth. 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 Way to derail the show. How did I, this has happened like an hour ago. Yes, Dennis, yes.
Uh, my question, will you have <laughs> I've seen that question posted a few times. I did answer, that was Dennis. Yeah. So Mark's really going to the UK. Yep. It could happen. It could possibly happen. There's no way. You guys got to vlog that whole thing. Yep. I'm working with Jewel.